Hi guys, I'm back to this. Well, guess what though? I got another blue screen of I got another one of those stupid little annoyances after I got done with episode 65 and it was right out of the blue too and I wasn't even really done with the recording. I just I was just trying to put an end to it and it just it was just kind of kind of a failure on my part. But yeah, we were supposed to follow the flags here. So that all those reckless enough to venture in the desert, please drop by our shop, okay? Carpet merchants. So I guess there's actually a shopkeeper over here. Well, who who would actually be dumb enough to set up the shop in a place like this? Oh, I know. It's probably the Poe Trader. Let's see. Let's just, kind of, let's just follow the flags. Tuppence a bag. Okay, here we are. I could have just made this a lot easier by by uh, using the hook shot, but I just wanted to make sure that everything is all all good, you know, baby steps. So yeah, we're over here, wherever we are. What? What? Oh, hello! Didn't expect to see you down here, Gold Scotilla. So I get you, and I use Dim's fire for some odd reason. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no! I don't want, I don't want fire arrows. I want to actually see what happens if we light up these torches. Do we actually get something good? Okay, we have that. Um, well, let's see what's over here then. Is it something worthwhile? Probably not. Yeah, purple rupee. I'm. I mean. That's just kind of a m making up my losses for the archery game, but let, let, yeah, we have 43, so we have just one more to get here in this vicinity before we actually head for the Spirit Temple. Because I know the Spirit Temple, I think, has around five spiders, so we just we just need to be a little bit vigilant there. So. No pressure. Let's see. Let's uh, go up here. I think. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going the right way. I mean, if I'm not, then wait. What's over here? Then is it something useful? Okay, check, please. I want to check. One with the eye of truth shall be guided to the spirit temple by an inviting ghost. Okay. Aha. Okay, I'll be your guide on your way. But coming back, I won't play. And I have my very bad Mr. Two voice. Ah. <laughs> I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow! Okay, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what is beyond the sand dunes of time and grime. Hopefully it's something beyond the key lime badge. Oh, uh, well, levers, that's actually saying that's not really part of your day, days, basic daily um, neighborhood. I, I don't know. I didn't really know what else to say there, except, yeah, we're just being hit by levers. That's that's kind of what's going to be happening in this episode, guys, is we're going to be chased by these stupid things. So, yeah, um... Ah! Come on, I hope... I, good, I didn't lose you. Come on, please, will you please just stop playing this game with me now? I mean, I get the whole gist of it. Can we just kind of go to those two flags here without... You know, playing a game of ghostly tag. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, ah! So I guess I... No. Oh, okay, good. Yay, we're here. We are here in... That l must be... The Great Pyramid of Egypt. <laughs> no, that... No, it's actually the Sphinx. But yeah, let's... Let's actually... Avoid being... Confronted by Gwaze right now. Okay, let's just. I do believe I'm, if I'm not mistaken, though, I think there's actually something that could be found over here. Probably not, but it was it was worth a shot. Well, there's definitely an oasis, but yeah, that's basically all that there's there. Oh. Okay, so yeah, let's actually just make it all the way here without any tr trouble. Okay, we're already here. 
So let's actually see what's inside. Hopefully it's worth our time. Yes, that's right, guys. The Spirit Temple. We're going to be doing this. And, ah, ha 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 ha. You missed me, Pots. So, yeah. Um, well, we have this, which we can't uh, apparently crawl under. And we also ha I have... Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of my screensaver. I really should disable that before doing the recording session anyway. But, yeah, we can't move this at all. I don't know why. So I guess we will be... Wow. Gosh, now what? Hopefully... Okay. Here we have more... More cinematics, so... I guess that's okay. Why is the camera just kind of... Oh, it's... It's Sheik's camera. Okay. I was half suspecting Lakitu. Or Lakitu. Past, present future. Okay, thank you very much for the history lesson. The Master Sword the Maestro Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Times River. Yeah, thank you for the for the philosophical stuff, but I have no time for that. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Okay. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Okay, sure. I do kind of like this song too. It's just, it's, it's kind of haunting, but it's still, I think it deserves its reputation as the final song here of the game. It's just kind of, it's just kind of a way to heal, heal your grief, all, all your sorrows, all your toils, you know. It just, it, it just, it has that feeling that you're almost done and now you have to go through all the stages of acceptance that you made it this far and yay Kippur Gibor get out of here okay you have learned the Requiem of Spirit wow we sure do have good team fighting spirit then I guess okay um are we almost done here come on I haven't got all day here Sheik I mean I know we're almost the same size oh, okay yeah sure Whatever, let's just basically go off into the sunset. Okay. Well, that's good to know then. And yeah, there are basically... There are guys everywhere, so let's actually just kind of... Be away from them. So yeah, let's actually go back to... Um, let's go back to the Prelude of Light. Because I guess we're going to be warping back to the time when we were a kid. And that we can actually go through that crawl space. Because we can't do it now, now that we're older. And a lot, and a lot taller. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll be doing that right now. Now it's good to know. It's good to know that, um, I have been warned. And that we must not underestimate quantum physics. So let's put the sword down for a... 500th time, because I'm not exactly sure how many times I put away the sword here. And we are a kid again. Yep, apparently we are a kid. Again. Yeah, that's right, guys. We have shrunk again. We, I guess we actually got hit by an enemy and our, our power-up has basically been exhausted. So, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, um... Okay, let's actually, um... I need to also do something over at Death Mountain, which is actually in the distance, so... Let's see if we can actually get this done without being killed here. But if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a... There should be a mound of soil somewhere here. Yeah, and we have two minutes. Yep. I, I was right. It's actually over here. So let's actually... Um, what am I doing? Let's actually plant a magic bean here immediately. Aha! Uh -huh. Open sesame, and let's actually, uh... Let's actually equip the fairy slingshot, and maybe the boomerang, I don't know, um... But, yeah, whatever. Let's actually... Now go, um... Okay. Okay, great. Now I forgot the Requiem. 
it's probably one of the least memorable songs of the repertoire here, but it's still pretty, pretty nice. Okay, okay, I, I got it. Now let's actually bring ourselves back to the the um, Colossus, and I do believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be sunset already. Let's just see. Yeah, it's already sunset, so let's actually, um, let's get out of the way here. Let's get out of the way before we get hit by Gways and stuff, so yeah. I guess we'll be doing this at night this time. I guess that's good. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do anything, I do believe, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's actually a, a, a mound of soil over here too, so let's actually do the same thing here. And... That would happen. Okay, let's see. I think we are done here, guys. Um, or wait, you know, while we're exploring, I might as well... I'm also, there's actually something else that's actually worth a value here, but it's just kind of, well, what else can I say? It's, let's see, um, if I'm, if, if I can, if I remember correctly, it's actually over here or somewhere. It's either, I don't think it's in this area, excuse me, but, oh wow. Okay, if we can avoid getting attacked by levers, I mean, that would be most appreciated, and let's, Yo, what I'd rather do here is, um... Because I do believe there are still Gways here. I do believe. Yeah, there are Gways all over here. But, yo, know, I'll just have to just kind of play it by ear and... Just hope for the best that I don't get attacked. So, yeah, let's... Let's actually save, too. Just in case. And let's actually go over here this time. And we're probably going to be attacked. Or not, I don't know. But yeah, here's an oasis. That's actually worth seeing. It's kind of dried up, of course. It's it's kind of bringing me back memories of Ikana, <laughs> of course. Kind of, I don't know. Okay, let's actually just kind of get out of here. Because I know, I know for a fact, I know for a very fact that there's actually something well hidden here. That is just kind of being concealed. Oh yeah, here we are. This place. Okay, let's hurry up and use a let's use a blue coconut, the the Goron special crop. Okay, yeah, 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 right, yeah. I gotcha. Now let's actually see what's inside here. Hm. Ah ha ha! It looks like another great fairy's fountain. Great. So anyway, I guess we'll do our basic daily routine here and play the lullaby that we are kind of tired of right now. Oh, why am I still doing this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, just come on out, you ugly thing. You ugly little whore. You. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry you have not received my last love letter, but I'm very glad that you didn't because all my poems stink. W welcome, Oboe. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic again. I will give you a magic spell. Okay, please take it, okay? Sure thing. And, well, it's blue this time. I love blue. So I'm guessing it's actually a good spell. It's actually a lot better than the, all the other ones. Maybe. Nehru, okay, Nehru's Love, I guess. Cast us to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. Sell with C. Sell me something with C. Nehru's Love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. Okay. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Okay. Uh, and again, screensaver, I hate you. Again, I really need to learn to disable everything. Uh, yeah. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I keep getting stupid stop errors is because of something like that. But anyway. Let's actually quickly warp back to where we were before. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure it's only a, like a few yards away from us. Okay, uh. Okay, let's just hurry up here. Because we haven't got all day here. We need to actually kind of rush things, move things along, chop chop. And yeah, let's actually hurry up and make it over here before all things turn to boils. No, I don't know. 
That was, that was actually kind of stupid, but yeah, we are now ready for this. Okay, so anyway. Next time on, on Ocarina of Time, we are going to have a special guest here who is going to be having me finish this stupid temple. Well, it's not it's not exactly the stupid temple. It's um, actually it's actually my favorite one. It's actually my favorite temple out of the sits, but you guys know what I mean. So yeah, or excuse me, five. But yeah, um, next time we will actually have a guest commentator here, and we will we will go from there. So until then, guys, see you later.